part 31 was putting the wheels on and there are little letters on them if you can see them which I can't really but you can go by the pictures and basically it's the the direction of the tyre is pointing the point backwards for that way of the fins and then for the other one the point is the other way for that direction so these are directionals and they're done in pairs so you've got to make sure you get, well now they're paired you can't put them on wrong as long as you've got the V pointing forwards so that's that out of the way and we'll prep part 32 now the first thing we've got to do is make up a brace in part 32 for the to go between the um, body posts we've got these two pieces T pieces with holes for them and we've got the dreaded rod once it starts it won't be too bad you've got to get the gap to 20 millimeters which we will do long way to go yet still for quite a bit <laughs> Spot on 20. So now in the instructions it says set it um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 holes up. So these are, are longer ones. You need two of the, four of these. And we've got to count up five. One, two, three, four. What should I get? Two, four, five. And the same the other side. Five. And then we we'll take this up as snatch. That goes on to the bars and down. And you put two more in. Yeah. I might see if I've got some something to make a pad because I'm gonna make a statement. That's loose. Oh well. So the last stage is we need a pair of wheels. A posing, yep. And We'll put the first hub on. Well, actually, we'll put the bearing on, might be an idea. Then we'll put a pin and then we'll put a hex, give that a slight push, and then pick the correct facing forward wheel make sure it's loose then the rotate and we'll put another wheel on. Fit the hex and fit the wheel. And that is about, just about this part done. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't glued the tyres at the moment. But they are quite a tight fit so I'm not too fast. I often do that in case, until they start slipping, in case you want to get them off. That's nice. And that completes 32. Right, now with the front, we've got to count to 14. 
or the rear I should say. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Like I said, and then we'll see if we'll slip this on, because it's a cheat. What we're gonna do oh god. And there we go. Again, as loose as anything. But we'll get the last of the wheels on. And there we go, that concludes 33, um, 34 is a proper power test, actually for this there's no point in putting a battery in as long as I've got one connected isn't it. There we go, power on. switch steering works and we have power so that concludes part 34 and the final part is part well what I'm doing is the final part will be the last all-in-one because like I said I weren't going to do that part and show you me mucking up but it's the last part is the body so here we go we got the chassis ready and the body has been completed um, one thing I will say is before I chop these down I did test the body on so let's fit it and see what you think like I said we've not gone for the cobalt blue we've gone for the so we can get that back on. We've gone for a metallic red below the white. So I hope you like the colour. I have to admit, I did really screw up the uh, masking. I masked the wrong line and I've had to bend the stickers a bit to hide the fact. So those extra stick white stickers are coming useful on mine. And I had a hell of a time with them as well. I'm not a great fan of decals when I do use them because I always seem to run into trouble but I'll take some external photos and see what you think but I think it looks quite good with the metallic against the uh, cobalt green so hopefully soon if the weather permitting and believe me the weather has not been permitting to get this out for its first run 